United States was founded by immigration. People with good careers, with good jobs, educated, that gave to this country. My name is Agnes Gibney. I was born in Budapest, Hungary. When I was two years old, my parents left as refugees. We crossed into Yugoslavia. We were in a refugee camp for about nine months because my mother refused to stay in Yugoslavia. They refused to allow us to go to the American Embassy to come to the United States. So we had the choice of Austria, South Africa, or Brazil. We lived in Brazil for 13 years, applied three times to immigrate to the United States. The third time, we were successful. My mother never gave up. We immigrated in November of 1970 legally. Most American people want to have security. My son, Ronald, went to Oman to drop off some food for his children. He had two boys, Matthew and Marcel. Ronald was talking on the driveway, his friend, Robert, when Ronald noticed somebody coming behind Robert and turned halfway and that instant the guy fired. My son got shot in the arm. The bullet traveled across his chest. He ran up the next driveway and banged on the door and collapsed. I was camping with my two daughters with Girl Scouts at Lake Paris. I just began to doze off, and about 12.30, the park ranger came shining a bright light into our tent, yelling out my name. I had an emergency. I called home, and my husband said that the detective in Elmani said that Ronald had been shot in the shoulder. He's expected to survive. He's in surgery. And that wasn't the case. Drove home. My husband met me halfway in the hallway, gave me a hug, and he said, I'm so sorry. And I said, no, I said, that's okay. I just wanted to the hospital to be with Ronald when he wake up. And I tried to walk away, and he held me back, and he says, you don't understand. Ronald didn't make it. My son was murdered. Our country has been lax in enforcing immigration laws. They let thousands of people down because of open borders. People that have lost loved ones, that their lives changed forever, fighting for attention to this issue, for people like me, for people like you, for everybody. I was an exempt. I thought crime would never hit me. but it could happen to anybody.